Um, a lot of people really don't want to go to the doctor just because of the way that they've been treated in the past. I hope that when people have to come see me that they're excited to see me. You know, it's not going to be something they dread or that they're anxious about. It's like, oh, oh good, I get to go see her today. You know, and mm -hmm. that they feel comfortable coming to see me because overall that will affect the community. If you have people that are willing to come see you to improve their health, then that's going to make a big impact all over the community. I realize as a physician, I want to continue to cultivate those gifts of listening, of being present, both the mind and the heart, um, throughout my four years, and hopefully at the end of it, when I am a physician, to be known as a doctor of both the mind and the heart. I just want to make sure that I can really make sure that the patients feel like you know, they're being heard and they're being taken care of really well. Um, I think that there's nothing more valuable than the patient-doctor relationship because I think that that's some kind of relationship that's unlike any other relationship that you will have in your life and in your patient's life. And if you can make that a really strong one, like, you know, that's just like, that's what I want. My, my grandfather was an MD and he was in like the last generation of uh, physicians that made house calls. Mm -hmm. I just remember watching him as a kid and seeing like how much people loved him and looked forward to him coming to their um, to their houses and I know that my grandfather instilled in people that he cared and um, and I think that's immensely important for health of the population because if you don't want to go to the doctor you're not going to get the help you need and if you love to go to the doctor, then you're gonna live a much healthier life. And so for me personally, I um, see myself eventually uh, practicing in pediatrics. So I believe that a lot of what I said four years ago, I still believe in now. Um, I think that it's important to, you know, bring the community together to gain trust again with physicians and their patients. I think now I'm a lot more focused in my goals. Um, I have decided that I wanna do family medicine. I think that I've, since being out and doing rotations and everything I've learned um, in school, I've seen where the disparities are and it's a lot less about me and more about how I can help my community. I think I've realized just how much more important, you know, the patient-doctor relationship, it's a sacred relationship. Um, but most recently, I think I've been kind of a bit more attuned to end of care. Um, I've ran into many uh, patients who, at the end of their lives, sometimes their family or their friends aren't able to be with them and sometimes their doctor is the person who's there with them, seeing them more regularly. Um, and so that's something I, I would like to explore more in residency and see where that takes me. It's like very surreal to kind of hear your voice uh, four years ago and what you thought and um, I think that's been kind of a strength and it's still a learning experience for me but you know on how to be the best physician for each patient that comes in but I still very much believe in you know making sure that you know immediately they feel comfortable in your presence and um, that you're doing the best that you can for them so it's really weird to hear all of us um, our younger selves but I couldn't um, I couldn't imagine this coming at a more perfect time I think those are still kind of my main goals so it's interesting to hear me say that I think the difference now is that we have the skill set to be able to kind of achieve those goals that we wanted to achieve and that mostly comes from you know the training that we've had here that you know taught us confidence and clinical skills from really early on and I'm, I'm very appreciative of this place and I think that you know all of my classmates are going to impact the world in amazing ways. You know I've constantly felt like I've been supported and um, there was always a hand to lift you up when you needed it. Uh, it was an amazing experience and I feel like I definitely came out a better person. The future students that we may not get a chance to interact with or encounter, thank you for coming to this school um, for continuing uh, the mission. The faculty and staff have made this feel like home and that's really, really special and important when you don't get to be home, <laughs> you know, so this has felt like a home for us and I attribute that all to the incredible team. This school has been an incredible, incredible place to learn, um, just so much support and this class has been a family to me um, and I think we all feel like that. Uh, we're all a family and we, we made it, we did it together and I want to thank the Dean as the first class. Uh, she took a chance on us and 
I'm forever grateful for that. So thank you.